Hello and welcome in this tutorial where I'm going to show you how to use the quick access toolbar, how to add elements there and what is the most handy way to use it. I use it personally most often to add text boxes and shape layers. Alt 1, text box. Alt 2, shape. Boom. Alt 2, next shape. This is how quickly you can work when you utilize the quick access toolbar. The QAT or quick access toolbar is this thing on the left top side of PowerPoint. You can add elements there by clicking on this button and by going to more commands. Here you have all the PowerPoint commands and you can put them to the right side which will be the quick access toolbar. But the far more handy way to do this is just to navigate here in the PowerPoint ribbon. Once you find something that interests you and you would like to have it in the QAT, you just right click and you select add to quick access toolbar. This is how I added my insert text box and insert shapes. I have it at the very beginning, even before the save option, just because if you press your left alt or option key on your keyboard, let me press it, you get those shortcuts. From 1 to 10 or even, even more because if there are more you just press 0 and a number. And I have my text box on 1 and shape layers on number 2. You can reposition those elements just by going to the options, more commands and you can take for example create a video, you can place it higher on lower in the hierarchy. This way I've managed to add those two shortcuts as the first and second one. This is it when it comes to creating shortcuts for your quick access toolbar, adding them and when it comes to its usage you can either click here or you can just press ALT 2 boom and it's open. ALT 2 next object, ALT 2 next object, ALT 1 text box, boom. And this is how quickly you can populate slides and you can place the most used features there and if you get tired of them or you decide that you are not using them just right click on them remove from quick access toolbar. Boom, they are gone. You are completely free to edit and add new ones. I hope this was useful and it did teach you something about PowerPoint. Thank you very much for listening and see you in other tutorials like this.